<laughs> Craig, thank you so much for speaking uh, today and sharing your story of your icebreaker with us. The goal of the icebreaker is to introduce the speaker to the club so that we have a better idea of his life and what circumstances brought him to join the club. Craig came up and, like myself, did a very good job. I noticed he had his folder with him. He realized it wasn't going to open and stay open so he could place his notes on it, so he just very you know, calmly dropped it on the floor. So that, I thought that was very good for his first speech to approach the lectern and have kind of a, a thing, kind of an, oh, you know what moment. And then <laughs> instead of, of panicking, he just handled it very well and continued the speech. So I thought that was good composure for especially first time speech. You had clear enunciation, a loud, clear voice, very audible. Everyone could hear you. You, um, you did a great job of letting us get to know you, even though it was in your story was placed in a work environment, in a work context. We still were able to learn a lot of your personal qualities. We saw your humor, which you shared. I love the line, this was not a good time to make a bad impression. So that was very cute, and how important it was at your, at your fa farewell to, to make a good impression. And, and I appreciate your honesty that you shared with us that you felt like you didn't make a good impression, and that you recognized that this was something that you needed to improve upon. So I think that showed us your determination on how you are willing to step up and, and to try to make yourself more successful and work hard toward doing that. So we know that you're determined. Also, we know you're open-minded because you listened to the advice of one of your colleagues when they said, you said, how did I, how did you get to become a good, such a good speaker? And she said it was Toastmasters and you actually followed her advice and as soon as you got here, found a Toastmasters club. So those are lots of important things that we learned about you today. Uh, and, and which is common in an icebreaker, you were, uh, you stayed at the lectern, but, but that was fine. As I said, you had good command here. One of the things I would encourage you to do is to have more contact with people, more eye contact with people. You looked at me and you looked around the room, but I noticed that you were referring to your notes quite a bit, which is absolutely common for an icebreaker. But that's one area where I think you can improve just a little bit, and that will come naturally as you give more speeches. One of the other things that I noticed was you started a speech with so. That was the first word out of your mouth. So, why did, why did we come to Toast? Why did I come to Toastmasters? And that's another thing I just wanted to, to make you be aware of. I say so, so I noticed that, my, that so was one of my <laughs> crutch words as well. But I think you did a very, very good job today for an icebreaker. You let us get to know a lot about you, about your determination, your honesty, your humor, and how uh, committed you are to being successful, and I look forward to hearing more speeches from you in the future.